I'm here at the Richard B. Harrison Library located on Newburn Avenue in Southeast Raleigh. And with me to talk about some major uh, events within the library system in the month of February is none other than the director of the Wake County Library System, Mike Waslett. Mike, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Uh, before we talk about uh, one of the first of a couple of major events going on in the month of February, uh, Richard B. Harrison Library, uh, one of the oldest libraries within the yes. system, named after a renowned actor and lecturer. Yes. Uh, how right. important has this library been uh, to the citizens uh, in Southeast Raleigh? Oh, this library has always been very important to the African American community, especially in the days of segregation and after. But it's always been a very focal point of what goes on in the community. It's always been very important to them. The building is, uh, for some people, this is their important memories from their past, from their childhood, and it's just been a, it, it's been a great addition to the system, and we we value it greatly. Talk about uh, one of the most important events within the month of February is the Black History Month celebration uh, going on later in the month. Can you talk a little bit more about it? We've always celebrated black history uh, throughout the library system. In the last few years, to bring even more awareness to the celebration, we've decided we've had it uh, in a joint location at the Commons, and we've partnered this year with uh, Wake County Parks and Recreation. It's really an interesting festival that we're putting on for the whole day. We'll have some live music, we'll have storytelling, there's crafts, there's some children's programming, and at the same time the parks will be having a program that's funded by the National Humanities Foundation, and they'll be running a shuttle between the Oakview Main House, where their program is taking place, to the Commons Building, where our program is taking place. So it's a fun experience for everybody. Hopefully the weather will be wonderful and you'll be able to get out with your family to enjoy the event. One exciting part about this has been the the uh, inclusion of WSHA FM yes. uh, will be broadcasting. For yes, they will do a live broadcast on their station, I believe, for most of the afternoon from 12 to 3. We have been so lucky to work with Shaw University. They have just been great partners. Uh, Molly Lee uh, was the first librarian here and created a, a collection of books that really focused on African American literature and history and so on. And as we've grown, we've been able to focus on the children's portion of it. And we really were looking for a partner to take over some of the uh, things that were a little bit more uh, academic. And Shaw had, has a perfect collection to complement this. It's located near us. We were able to partner with her. And so we're, we're very excited about the partnership. And it has helped us work with Shaw again for the radio station and so on. So we're hoping for great things to work with them in the future. And that's going to be very exciting. Uh, but the granddaddy of them all, so to speak, uh, within the Wake County uh, library system is the annual book sale. Oh yes. This is something that's been uh, that's known along the eastern seaboard. Yes it is. Uh, can you talk about this year's book sale and, and I'm sure there are a lot of, uh, of viewers that are waiting to find out when they can come and get some great bargains. Yes well we're supposedly the third largest book sale in the United States. It is going to be this year February 17th through the 20th. We've been able to relocate the sale to the fairgrounds and because of that venue which is much more uh, open in addition to the sale there'll be some music there'll be some crafts there'll be some activities for children on site the bookmobile will be there so we're really looking forward to not only celebrate the sale of books which is great revenue for the county and the library system it also allows us to celebrate what we do the fairgrounds seems to be a place where people can really stretch out, so to speak, and, mm -hmm. and really enjoy themselves. And, and Eric, it's been interesting. Today we were out there for another site visit, and it's just a beautiful facility. Uh, there's a place, there'll be food vendors, the restrooms are clean, <laughs> the, mm -hmm. uh, the building is well lit. It is an, a, it's a great place for parking. It'll be well publicized. Hopefully we can tap into some additional audience that maybe has not been aware of the sale by going to the fairgrounds. And as I said, the fairgrounds have been great partners in helping publicize this on their website and on their marquee. So I think everybody will enjoy their visit to the fairgrounds this year for the book sale. Well, Mike, I'm sure that this is going to be an exciting uh, event uh, during the annual book sale as well as for uh, the celebration of Black History Month. Uh, anything you want to add before we close out? Uh, please just keep supporting your libraries, and we're very happy to help you in any way that we can. I hope you can come and 
celebrate two big events for us this, year, this month of February. And please just support your local libraries. And thank you very much. Thank you, Mike.